On a rainy night, the heavens opened earlier and it just hasn't relented. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson. And there's nothing quite like the magic of a cup competition. Live action coming up for you. It's Wrexham and they take on Crawley Town. Well Derek, although the hosts are clear favourites, this could prove to be a tricky game for them unless they score an early goal because their opponents will sit deep, remain compact and defend with determination. They also pose a threat on the counter-attack and are really good at set plays. It's going to be an interesting one. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. And a goal! Not wasting much time today. They strike first. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Tom Nichols. They've regained possession. Rodriguez. Chances on. Oh, how on earth has he missed that? What a glorious opportunity. Well, the flag's gone up and he was offside, but he didn't know that when he took his shot. An important interception. Ote. Takes it on. Now that's fine goalkeeping. Real concentration. Trying to pick out a teammate. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? Firing it towards goal. Easy meet for the goalkeeper. Oh, they've lost it. Has a go. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Short corner taken. He takes aim. Pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. He has teammates around him. Oh, he looks threatening. He must finish. Oh, it's in! A two-goal cushion now, and the lead fully merited. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Good use of advantage by the referee. Jack Powell. Aramide Ote. Nichols. Well, that was always going to be offside. He just needed to hold on to the ball that little bit longer. And the substitution will occur now. Well, the hosts, as you can see, haven't enjoyed the majority of possession. But what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Defenders need to cover. Oh, surely. 
a goal! And it seems they're truly cruising to victory here. Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power, the keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. Well, you've got to say, an incredible first-half performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. Well, the manager... Underway in the second half. And after such a lopsided first 45 minutes, is it possible to think they could turn this around? Careless in possession. But well, there's been a lot Derek, of big moment this. Well, he strayed offside just as it looked promising. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Into the advanced position. Is it going to be a goal? On this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. And as they restart the game, it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge. And continues his run. Telford. And he takes it away. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Rodriguez. And the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. A very good tackle. Now, who can he play it to? Will he find the net? What a big chance that was. Keeper has the ball. Well, they might be onto something. It's there for him. And the keeper, there to deal with. with it and he's going to go back and issue a caution here well the referee wasn't going to forget that was he who can they pick out and the problem not completely solved another successful intervention winning the ball back Machado oh, showing excellent vision a goal we're really being spoiled this is attacking football at its finest well let's look at this again and the keeper just lost his bearings there he was never in the right position he won't want to see that again it's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Well, he has the measure of his opponent. 
Might be a chance here. And there is the goal. He's found the net. Joy unconfined. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Well, that's some out and out pasting. 6 0. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. How far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Oh, breezing past him. Well, here's the goal again. It's all about the little Maradona turn to beat his man. Leaves him for dead. Ridiculous to be seeing that at this level. Well taken finish as well. It's a stunning goal. There's the final whistle. The home fans are jubilant. They are going through. Well, the result was never in doubt, was it? They controlled the game from start to finish. They created numerous chances and they dictated the tempo. A very comfortable win for them in the end. some questions regarding the match yeah no further questions thanks Hello everyone, you know some footballers enjoy a rainy day, not sure fans always feel that way, but an exciting match in prospect nonetheless. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And League Two action is what's on the menu coming up live. How do you see the match going, Stuart? Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully, we're not disappointed. Very quick thinking there. Montez. Rodriguez might really be able to trouble them here but they took care of the situation defensively well the perfect tackle really and now a throw in here's Chavez and would be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball well a lot to like about the team from top to bottom especially their away record they tend to prosper away from home, Stuart. Well, 13 wins from 13 away games is remarkable. But when you see how good their game plan is, it's no real surprise. Their speed of movement when the ball changes hands is key to their success. And I expect to see that again today.
A chance to whip it in. And the cross didn't beat the first man. Well, the situation has changed in one of the other games. Here's Alex Scott with the news. Yeah, it's a goal for Tranmere Rovers. They've scored the opener with 20 minutes played. Thanks as always, Alex. Not giving their opponents a moment's peace. We're getting the ball forward. Can they take the lead here? There it is! A fantastic goal, and no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Went in strongly, decisively. Nicely cut out. Archibald. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And a throw in forthcoming. And slipped through beautifully. And simple for the keeper. And they have possession again. So half time here, and the visitors in front. We spoke earlier, Stuart, about their tremendous away record. Well, it's another good first half away from home. They've played with great confidence, they've made the pitch big, and they've looked a constant threat. Mind you, any drop in tempo during the second 45, and they could pay for it. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Oh, a vital interception. Well, I'm hearing there's been a goal in one of the other games, and Alex Scott can fill us in. Yeah, it's a goal for Newport County. It was a volley that was mishit. It totally fooled everyone, including the goalkeeper. They've scored the opener here with 47 minutes played. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Well, he didn't really trouble the keeper. To be fair, the angle was tight. Well, I'm not sure that was the right option. It was always going to be difficult to score from there. And the play stop. They will make the change now. There's been so much speculation in terms of whether the transfer would go ahead, but it will go ahead, Stuart. Yeah, at that price, I think he's value for money. He'll certainly improve their squad. Real chance! Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Oh, great play. Superbly read and executed. Well, as you can see, the hosts have had most of the ball, but their attacking play hasn't been good enough so far. There's been too many safe passes and no real penetration. They certainly... They need to up the tempo if they're going to get back into this one. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Well, someone has scored in one of the other games. Let's find out exactly who from Alex. It's a goal for Carlisle. The goalkeeper's made an initial great save, but there's nothing he could do after that. They're ahead by two now with 65 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. Christian Kuame. This looks interesting. Can he put it away? And the post getting in the way. Cleared away. Well, had that gone in, they would be in complete control of this game. 
as it is, they're still going to be a bit nervy. Well, they can't dwell on not getting the rub of the green. Perhaps they can create another chance now. Nicely saved. Putting it in. A decisive clearance it was. Another corner conceded. What can they do with this one? Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. This could finish it. Terrific save. Well, we have a goal to tell you about in one of the other matches. Alex has the news. Yeah, it's a goal for Tranmere Rovers. They've pulled one back with 83 minutes on the clock. Many thanks, Alex. Excellent defending. Afif. Plenty of support here, but timely defending when it mattered. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. They get forward, but time is very much against them here. And there goes the final whistle. True to form this, we spoke earlier about their fantastic away record. Well, it was tight, but yet again, they delivered at the right times. Their game plan is simple, yet so effective. And I thought they deserved their victory today. Another good win on the road. Time for a couple of questions. That's it. Thanks very much.
And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And League Two action is what's on the menu coming up live. It's Wrexham versus Crawley Town. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. And he's fired over the corner. They'll repeat the trick. Corner again. Really good diving save. And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. Who can he pick out? And the danger's still on. Thomas O'Connor. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Will he finish? On the back of sustained pressure, now they deservedly hold the advantage. Well, here's the replay. He's got such quick feet, hasn't he? Just look how he goes past his marker to get his shot away. That's a really good goal. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Poor attempts at a pass, really. Thomas O'Connor, Tanner Cliff. You can't help feeling when you look at the table that when you're playing dominant football such as they have been, that they're going to lap the field. Well, there seems to be no stopping them at the moment. They've been by far and away the best team. Unless something drastic happens, I can't see how they let this slip. The referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Well, I must admit, Stuart, for a fleeting moment, I thought that was going in. Well, it was only inches away, but it's still a brilliant strike. Not the pass he had in mind. Real chance. That's well blocked. It is to be a throw in. Well, I think just lost his focus for a second and a throw in conceded. And a chance to whip it in here. And a goal kick is the outcome. Machado Akram Afif well that's how to keep the opposition at bay now what can they do from here well showing excellent judgment to intercept it needs an accurate cross well he knew he had to get to the ball and he did This might be ideal for the counter. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. And so it is, the first half story has been written. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Well, 
terrific pass. And the keeper more than equal to the task. And they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. And over comes the corner. And still dangerous. And a goal here! Well, it took a definite nick. And nothing the keeper could do about it whatsoever. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Lee. Hosanna. Afif. Well, they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Oh, he saved it well. And the substitution will occur now. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. And the keeper didn't have too much time. A big transfer news coming through, and Golo Conte has completed his move to PSG. The reported figure of around £45 million seems to be a fair deal, but he'll certainly need to settle in. Oh, could be! Well, the keeper committed himself. Now the delivery. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Well, the stats tell you everything. They've created opportunities, they've created chances, but they just haven't taken any. It's been a really poor display in front of goal. They've got to do a lot better with their finishing. Absolutely, possession the name of the game as they try again. Couldn't keep it. Tremendous ball played through. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. Mullen. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Chance to play it in. Will he find the net? And thumped away. Jake Hessenthaler. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Well, these players must be motivated. Well, wait a moment, Stuart. Look at what's happening. And a goal! At this stage of the game, it might be decisive. Just look at their supporters. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. And we've entered the final five minutes. An effective challenge. And you need your defender to take charge. Important interception. Into the advanced position. Being egged on by the crowd. In it goes! Two goals in rapid fire fashion and looking very comfortable here. Well, here it is again, and it was never really in doubt, was it? He was always going to score from there. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area, and they also looked threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them.
Just a couple of questions for you. Thank you for answering the questions. Rather a wet, miserable day, alas, here in North London at the Emirates Stadium. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the FA Cup to bring you today. It's Arsenal, and they take on Wrexham. Thanks, Derek. Well, the hosts are clear favourites going into this tie. But with that comes pressure, particularly against a team that will remain compact, are well-drilled defensively, and are a threat on the counter-attack. If the hosts don't go through, though, it will be a major upset. Potentially one to savour. Arsenal get this game underway. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Mohamed Elneny starts alongside Thomas Partey in the centre of midfield. And the focal point in attack is Gabriel Jesus. He has been one of the leading lights in the competition so far, Gabriel Jesus. Well, the best players are the ones... Oh, that Stewart, an opportunity! And putting his body on the line. In it goes, an early goal. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. So, underway again here. 1 0 the score. Martin Erdegaard. The ticket office, thank you. Well, spot on with that challenge. Luke Young. Rodriguez. Chances on. And a goal! The quick one too! And they've turned this game on its head!
Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it. What a great finish. So, 2-0 now. Martin Odegaard, effective challenge. And a chance to whip it in here. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Save, but still a chance. That really would have changed the equation had it gone in, Stuart. Well, he needed to score there. That may just have given them some hope. Well, the away side haven't bossed the possession, as you can see. But their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. Potential danger here. And it goes! A three-goal cushion! And you truly sense it's a matter of how many! Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. Well, you've got to say, an incredible first-half performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. Well, half-time almost upon us, and playing away from home isn't bothering them in the slightest. Stuart, how about your take? Well, what a first-half performance this has been so far. They look like scoring every time they go forward. The positional rotation, the ability of players to run with the Oh, ball. wait a moment, Stuart. Look at what's happening. A goal! performance this four to the good now well just look at this again the speed of counter-attack is so impressive and there's certainly no doubt about the finish he really hits it with power and accuracy nothing the keeper can do about that And as they restart the game, it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge. Well timed tackle. And if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. Montes. And there it is, the referee's whistle. The first half has come to an end here in North London. Well, there's a good reason why we're highlighting him. He's really dominating in attack in this game, Stuart. Well, he scored good goals, but his all-round play has been excellent. He looks like scoring every time he gets on the ball. Underway in the second half. And after such a lopsided first 45 minutes, is it possible to think they could turn this around? Nice ball to switch the point of attack. Oh, off the post! And behind it goes. Well, he did everything right there, but he doesn't quite get it inside the post. That would have been a brilliant goal. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture.
Thomas Partey. Martin Odegaard is showing a real will to win the ball. Well, we've been wondering if this deal might go through. Now it has gone through, and good news for Dortmund. Oh, can he finish it here, Derek? And fired against the crossbar. Goal kick it'll be. Substitution time it is here. Hayden. Rodriguez. And he did well to cut it out. Martin Odegaard. Really a very poor ball. Gabriel Jesus. Into the final 20 minutes. On the ball, Chavez. And they have possession again. Bukayo Saka. It's with Erdogan. Decent position. Oh, that was begging to be put home. But the goalkeeper has it. And the press is on. Brabets. And fed forwards. Chance here. Oh, a tremendous block. So making the substitution now. Delivering it. Well, not cleared away completely. McFadzian. Well, he took care of it defensively. Montez. Oh, breezing past him. How can he find someone at the far post? Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Gabriel Jesus. There's the final whistle, and the visitors move on. Well, what a good attacking display that was. The passing, movement, and creativity were of the highest quality. They'll certainly be confident going into the next round. No two ways about it, he really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent. We just wanted to ask you a couple of questions. No more questions, thank you.
Okay, welcome everyone. We'll be starting with questions now. Thanks all for coming. There's no Our camera lens trained on one man in fantastic form and leading the competition in goals. Stay with us on EA TV. Hello and welcome. Absolutely ideal weather for football here in Manchester at the Etihad. My name is Derek Ray and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the second leg of this semi-final. It is Manchester City and they take on Wrexham. Well, what a game this promises to be, Derek. An early goal here and these fans will be buzzing. But I just think this could go right to the wire today. And so they start at 11 for Manchester City. Everson gets the nod in goal. Ilkay Gundogan plays alongside Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of the park. And the main threat in attack today should be Erling Haaland. Kevin De Bruyne. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Haaland. Here's Chavez. Anthony Ford. That's not a bad ball. But it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it was played over. Well, we have to say, Stuart, respect and admiration grows for Kevin De Bruyne with each passing year. So many attributes. What are you looking for from him in this game? Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. City have the ball again. Here's Chavez. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. And it might be. And a goal! And I'll tell you what, that gives them a bit of a cushion now. Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. So the aggregate advantage, 3-1. Getting the better of his opponents. Oh, it might be! You certainly can't fault them for trying as they keep the pressure on. Well, that was a decent effort, and you just sense the goal's coming here.
Hayden. Young. Rodriguez. Went in strongly to win the ball. Now, what can they produce on the flank? Who can he pick out? Now, counter attacking possibilities here. It should be. Well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. Robbery. Holland. It's with Gundogan. And De Bruyne in a useful looking position, but will there be an end product? Erling Holland. And a goal! And now the question is can they come up with one more? Well, here it is again. It was a good finish, but the keeper has to do better at his near post. He was beaten far too easily on that occasion. And plenty of goals if you look at the aggregate. 3-2 here. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Half time, that will do it for the first half here at the Etihad. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in this second half. He's taken on his opponent here. And a very good challenge. Well, there's been so much talk about a potential transfer, but it's potential no more. It's fact. Well, he's a great talent. Hopefully this move will see him play. Oh, well, they might score here, Stewart. Save, but still a chance. And as it stands, they're on their way out. But a goal here would change everything. decided to make a change trying to deliver it accurately that's a great stop well his reflexes are so good there that's a fantastic stop well these fans have had to be patient could this be the equaliser Leal and back with Gundogan Foden it looked as though it had a chance of going in for the equaliser. It was close. It was a decent effort. Just need to keep plugging away now, and surely the goal will come. Vega. Oh, a nice-looking pass. Real chance. Still could be dangerous. And I think the threat has been averted. Well, here's one to look forward to with us here on EA TV. In the Champions League, the round of 16 first leg live. It's Manchester City against Real Madrid. Well, neither side will want to lose that first leg, so expect a really good tactical battle. It should be an intriguing game, though. And Bernardo Silva has it. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. And City get the throw in. Well, possibilities inside the box. 
Foden. Now with Gundogan. Holland. That's all they can conjure for now. Counter attacking, very much an option. Defenders need to cover. Real chance. Superb stop. Real chance. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Well, they're in front. but they'd love another here, just to give them that bit of breathing space. A corner will ensue. Over it comes. Just far too close to the goalkeeper. Now we're inside the final ten minutes in this one. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Holland. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Throw-ins given. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Really closing him down. And he read it superbly. Here's Chavez. Well, the electronic board lets the fans know. Three minutes of stoppage time. And a real treat in store for the travelling fans. Now get ready. Chance, but they're now just 90 minutes away from lifting the trophy. A great achievement and a big test ahead of them. But there won't be anybody doubting their chances now. Have you got time for a few questions? That's all. 